Greetings, one and all two universes. In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to find out who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions down in the comment section below or in a video response. And who knows, your comment or video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Donkey Kong, leader of the DK crew, and Garnet, leader of the Crystal Gems. Okay, well technically Rose Quartz was the leader, but she's no longer with us and Garnet is basically next in line. <clears throat> Either way, which one of these big fisted bruisers will win in a battle to the death? Let's find out. This is Universes. It all started with an ape named Donkey Kong, who had a son named Donkey Kong Jr., who had a son himself also named Donkey Kong. That's right, three proud generations of Dongs. I, I mean Kongs. Kongs is what I meant to say. <coughs> Anyways, while the elder Donkey Kongs used to duke it out with Plumber Boy himself, the current DK prefers to live peacefully on his island in gigantic horde of bananas. That is, until someone takes them. Donkey Kong's ridiculously gigantic banana horde manages to keep getting stolen right out from under his nose by the villainous King K. Rule. And when that happens, Donkey Kong wastes no time grabbing his buddies to set out on an adventure to find them. And trust me, Donkey Kong certainly has the guns to do that, both figuratively and literally. Let's start with the figurative guns first though as Donkey Kong is packing some huge muscles, perfect for slamming, pounding, and punching his foes into the ground. The more he winds up his punches, the more powerful they'll be, shaking the very ground beneath him, and his most powerful happens to be the giant DK punch. Okay, now let's talk about the real guns. Donkey Kong has a coconut shooter that can hold up to 28 homing coconuts, and he also has orange grenades to act as actual explosives. Then, of course, there's his special Strong Kong ability. It temporarily makes him immune to all damage. He can even walk on lava or quicksand. The incredible strength, weapons, and invincibility should make this an easy win for him, but there's one thing that might just hold him back big time. Donkey Kong is really dumb. He's been fooled by friends, enemies, and even himself. And that's not the only problem with his head either, as it turns out the source of his strength is his hair. And if it's cut, all of his power is gone. So if you're planning to take this Kong on in battle, you best bring a pair of scissors with you because when he has all of his powers, you're in deep trouble. Donkey Kong's punches are already strong enough to alter the environment and cause earthquakes, but a fully charged DK punch is strong enough to actually knock an island-sized moon out of space. He has also survived atmospheric re-entry twice and the explosion powerful enough to get him into outer space in the first place. Donkey Kong's punches can also move fast enough to catch on fire, meaning that at the very least they're moving at speeds of Mach 5. And Donkey Kong himself isn't much slower than his little pal Diddy Kong who can reach outer space in just a matter of seconds. And his most powerful DK punch has been calculated to massively hypersonic speeds by time and size scaling the moon that he punched. For specifics, it's about 48,000 meters per second. Donkey Kong has beaten tons of bosses, hordes of crocodiles, and has even proven his combat skills in a boxing match against Little Mac. <laughs> okay, okay. I know that doesn't count since it's a crossover, but you gotta admit, it was a pretty cool crossover. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Anyways, don't go near this monkey's banana hoard unless you want a knuckle sandwich for lunch instead. Now, Garnet isn't who she appears to be at first. Behind the tall, purplish lady are two red and blue midgets named Ruby and Sapphire. Garnet is formed once Ruby and Sapphire fuse. Fusion used to be used only for size enhancing and work between gems of the same type. So when two different gems like Ruby and Sapphire did it, they were outcast and seen as freaks, as different gem fusions were unheard of at the time. But when they ran away, Rose Quartz was there to assure them that everything would be okay, and she invited them to join her rebel group known as the Crystal Gems. However, thousands of years later, Rose fell in love with a human named Greg and gave up her own life so that Greg could have a son named Steven. This led Garnet in charge of not only the Crystal Gems, but Steven's safety. So in order to manage both, she's gonna need some pretty cool abilities. Now being a gem means that Garnet can have her own unique weapon or power, but since she's a fusion, she can have both. On Ruby's side, she can materialize two powerful gauntlets around her fists, and she can even increase their size to hit harder. And on Sapphire's side, Garnet has Future Vision, which she can somehow transfer to others with a kiss. 
Now pay close attention. This does not mean Garnet can see THE future. It just means she can see all the possible futures that could happen. She has no way of knowing which outcome will actually occur. But these are just her gem's specific abilities. There are some powers that all gems share. For example, Garnet can shapeshift. We don't see her do it much, but she can stretch her arms to incredible length. Garnet can also swim in lava and reform if her physical body gets destroyed. She can even fuse and unfuse at will, both Ruby and Sapphire having their own unique abilities. Ruby can generate enough heat to evaporate a swimming pool and Sapphire can create ice. Now those are enough powers to qualify as a leader. What about strength, though? Well, Garnet is strong enough to fight on par with Jasper, a court soldier who's powerful enough to survive a large island-sized explosion without the need to reform. Garnet can also take on her own teammates and several gem monsters. She's also fast enough to dodge lasers and block lightning from the sky with her fists. The power with this gem never stops either as Garnet does not need to sleep, meaning she literally has infinite stamina that cannot be depleted over long periods of time. The only way to affect this insane stamina is by dealing damage to her. On the subject of taking damage though, Garnet does have one very big weakness. While she can easily reform if she's damaged enough to where she poofs, that may become difficult if her gems themselves are damaged. Shattering a gem can kill the being entirely and even just cracking it can seriously screw them up. They become deformed, lose basic abilities like speech, and have no control over their powers. Luckily though, Garnet's gems are on her hands which she can easily hide with her gauntlets. She's all prepared for battle. But can she defeat the big ape himself? Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. Yes. Hey guys, Brandon Gaming Via here. Here with a universe prediction. It's been so long since I've done one of these. Blah blah samurai. And we're gonna predict um, Donkey Kong versus Garnet. Donkey Kong from Mario and, Don and Garnet from Steven Universe. So, I say Donkey Kong. I agree with Donkey Kong. Garnet is smarter and she has their um, future vision, which could like help her play Donkey Kong into her hands, but I just think Donkey Kong physically dominates Garnet. Yeah, the problem is, like, the biggest problem I'm seeing is causing. The finishing blow. Like if she was a, if she was closer in strength, then that could have been different. But the problem is the strength gap is pre, the strength and durability gap is pretty big. The yeah. So it just, so yeah. It's eventually it's gonna Garnet's gonna wear down or slip up even with her third eye. Garnet has yeah. like, heat resistance so the explode like his explosive punches wouldn't really work, which the force that they come out would be too much for her. The coconut gun. Get fire in his fur. Has like more weapons too. He has the homing coconuts. He has um, strong Kong, which basically makes him invincible for a brief period of time. He Yeah. Generally, instantly he survived a blow that they said if I was an explosion and sent him to the moon. Yeah, and then a, a lot of basically most of the categories, uh, Donkey Kong just kind of more than edges out. It's it's not that it's a massive stomp, but he just more than edges out in most of the categories. I think like Garnet may be faster, but Donkey Kong's able to keep up with people who can also um, light their fists on fire and like, create explosions, meaning he can react to hypersonic level yeah. speed feats. Uh, Garnet is just smarter and maybe faster, while Donkey Kong has better weapons, more you know, better physicality, it's more experienced. Well, actually, no, because Garnet's been fighting mm. in her life for thousands of years. Oh, yeah, that's true. He's been fighting longer, but I think that Donkey Kong's resume of people he's beaten is, like, far more impressive than anyone Garnet's ever So, better experience. Better experience, but less experience. So, yeah, so that just <laughs> sums it up. Uh, go Donkey Kong. Hey, Corn O'Keefe here. As the title implies, Universes is back in action. We got Donkey Kong versus Garnet, the fusion from Steven Universe. Interesting match, I'm gonna start off saying. Um, talk a little bit about Garnet. Obviously a fusion, 
has her gauntlet like cannons, super cannons, super like gauntlets. She can actually make grow in size, actually very intelligent and smart in her own right too. Has a lot of stamina from what I've seen as well. As far as, you know, attack potency, stuff like that, I'd say around island level, which is actually pretty dang good, as I mentioned in her own right. A skilled hand-to-hand -hand combatant as well, folks. If we look at Donkey Kong for a moment, obviously very powerful, very potent in his own right. Durable as well. Not as bright, I would say. Probably not as intelligent as Garnet. I'll say that right off the bat. However, he is very durable and probably it does have more attack potency than Garnet where he can actually break through her defenses. As we know, he punched down a moon. However, it wasn't, you know, a full-size moon, but I still think that puts him above her durability. Yes, she has intelligence. Um that's for that's for sure but I do feel like Donkey Kong's massive strength along with his massive durability and he probably does actually take the stamina edge as well in this situation so it is gonna be a close one and a good fight however I'm gonna have to go with Donkey Kong all the way folks for the next universes shout out to Leopold the Brave let me know what you think down below as always have a great one peace And the results are in. The winner is... Donkey Kong. Woo! Now this was one of the closest matchups I've ever done, in my opinion. Woo! What a rough matchup to come back with for my break. Now, I won't beat around the bush with the strength category. I mean, it's pretty obvious that Donkey Kong punching the island-sized moon out of space is much more impressive than anything Garnet's done, like fight on par with Jasper, but it's everything else where it gets difficult. Now, in the speed category, it's pretty much equal or close enough to not have an effect on the overall outcome with Donkey Kong's punching speeds and Garnet's lightning feet. So far, it seems like the edge is slightly in DK's favor, but not by much, and with Garnet's abilities, you'd assume she'd be able to catch up. But let's have a look. While Garnet does indeed have more abilities, Donkey Kong's arsenal is much more useful. His coconut gun, his orange grenades, and even the invincibility he gets from Strong Kong. As for Garnet, let's take a look at her future vision. Like I stated before, it lets her see all the possible outcomes for a situation, but not the one that's actually going to happen. So she would know all the things Donkey Kong could do, she wouldn't know exactly what he would do at the very moments. Then, of course, there's Garnet's intelligence. Donkey Kong is a huge oaf while Garnet is extremely smart, but intelligence doesn't automatically guarantee an instant win. Brains can only get you so far, as Garnet has been backed up against the wall by mindless creatures before to where she's needed to be saved by someone else. Then finally, there's Garnet's ability to reform. Now, after poofing her, Donkey Kong would automatically think he won, since he would have no knowledge of Garnet's ability to regenerate. But when Garnet does reform, she doesn't come back as Garnet. She comes back as Ruby and Sapphire, both who don't have the strength to take on DK on their own, or move fast enough to fuse before DK crushes them again and this time decides to shatter them. And considering gems can be cracked by falling on a rock or being hit by a small asteroid, DK would have no trouble pulling this off. So with a slight lead in stats and a much more useful arsenal, Donkey Kong can outbrawn the brains. The winner is... Donkey Kong. Get ready for the next battle.